You won't find in the Christian People's Alliance any political correctness. Can I give you a leaflet that says Christian People's Alliance? We're standing in general election. Meet C. Cordell, a political campaigner and leader of the Christian People's Alliance. We're not following an agenda, we're following the truth. Christians need a voice. Well, there are not many of us about now. Come on, don't you believe it? As a Christian, Sid is not one to shy away from controversial topics many politicians dare not comment on. Only one of the policies which we're standing on has been discussed tonight. The other policies haven't been discussed. That is the importance of marriage. Sid, that's, so that's these enough. are These are policies that haven't Sid, been discussed. Can we turn the microphone off, please? Thank you. This year, Sid is on a mission to get the Christian voice heard in the face of growing opposition to traditional Christian values. Absolutely God's interested in politics. You think when they pass a law redefining marriage and say marriage can now be between a man and a man and a woman and a woman, do you think God's not interested? Did you read that Bible literally? They're all parables, aren't they? The Bible is an accurate history book. So See, I disagree with that. It's not a well, history book. It's well, history. I'm going to tell you. Maybe that I'll never be Prime Minister. If I'm the person that lays the foundation, then that's fine. What matters to me is that I'm walking in God's plan. I'm walking in God's purposes. I'm doing what he's called me to do. I'm Sid Cordell, leader of the Christian People's Alliance. I've been involved in politics now for a very long time. Uh, initially spent 27 years in the Conservative Party, part of that time was a Conservative councillor. And in 2004 I left the Conservative Party and joined the Christian People's Alliance and became its leader at the end of 2012. The government, in our view, is in a total state of confusion as to what to do with the economy. Sid Cordell is not your average political figure. A strong advocate for the voices of Christians Sid is no stranger to controversy. Let's talk a bit more about some of the, the social policies. Would it be fair to describe the Christian People's Alliance as anti-gay and anti-Islam? Of course not. Um, uh, you've asked me that before and I've answered it. I think from what you said on gay marriage, these are your core issues. I am a Christian and a Christian is a follower of Jesus' teaching. Jesus' teaching is absolutely clear and I have no problem whatsoever in following that teaching. But despite the media backlash, Sid is nonetheless undeterred, but more than ever determined to see what he believes are core social issues be at the forefront of UK political agenda. Politicians like to be popular and at the moment you're not going to be popular with the media if you take a strong Christian line, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be unpopular with the public. And the more we speak with strength, we speak with authority, the more people, I believe, will rally to our cause. It's, 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 it's not necessarily an unpopular thing at all with the general public. I visited Sid in his constituency, hoping to join him on his campaign trail, where he's standing as candidate for Hitchin and Harpenden at the general election. Today is a nice sunny day, and we're on our way to set up a table in the centre of Hitchin and I've got a, a display with a stand, plenty of leaflets. I'm going to hand out some leaflets and say to people, I'm from the Christian People's Alliance, and offer them leaflets. And some people, no doubt, will say, no, I'm not interested. Uh, others will take a leaflet, and uh, we hope to collect some email addresses of people who are supportive. That's the aim this morning. I must admit, I wasn't quite sure what to expect as Sid prepared to meet members of the public. But one thing for sure, I was amazed to see a man who's passionate about his cause and the people who dare to share his views. Can I give you a leaflet, it's Christian People's Alliance, a candidate in the general election. Can I give you a leaflet, sir, it's Christian People's Alliance, a standing in the general election. I like to uh, give leaflets to people sitting on the seats because often people sitting on the seats you know, they're just sitting there, not doing much. Just about every single one of them took a leaflet and they'll sit down and they'll, you know, they're, just, they're not doing much, so they'll sit and just read it. Can you give your leaflets? Christian People's Alliance for standing for good Christian value. Okay. In a sense, this is a sort of an easy, an easy sort of evangelism, if you like. Hello, it's um, Christian People's Alliance, a candidate in the general election. Right. Thank you very much. Who believes that Christians need a voice? Well, 
There are not many of us about now. Come on, don't you believe it? <laughs> don't you believe it? What we need is more guts and more courage to speak out boldly. We yeah, we do. And that's what you get with us. That lady, I said, you know, we believe Christians need a voice. And that lady just said to me, yeah, there's not many of us left now. I said, don't you believe it? I said, there are many people as Christians. Said, what we need is boldness. There's too many Christians that will hide and almost afraid of, of, of telling people I'm a Christian. And, you know, but with us, you get boldness. You know, we've got the guts. We don't care what people think. You know, we're standing for God. Hallelujah. Can you believe that? It's Christian People's Alliance. We're Christians standing in politics. Oh, right. That's very interesting. Well, we run food banks. We know why people go. So we care for the poor and the elderly. We've got policies to solve the problems. We believe in supporting marriage. So we're giving £10,000 grant when people get married. And £5,000 grant when you have your first child with training to support the process. Oh, that's very, very good. Thank you so you're much. in the constituency. Well, I hope you're... Uh, I hope you might vote for us because, uh, you know, it's, for, us, for, for us, this is a process. You know, obviously we're not expecting to win loads of seats this time. We've got 31 candidates yeah, nationwide. That's very, very interesting. That's the nicest yeah. thing I've heard in politics. OK, well, God bless this you. This last couple of weeks. Lovely. OK, thank, thank you. you well, very I, much. OK, well, nice to have met you. God bless Lovely. you. Nice to meet you. You know what she said? The nicest thing I've heard in politics in this last couple of weeks. Oh. Hallelujah. Let me give you a leaflet to Christian People's Alliance. As the day went on, just when it seemed the message of the Christian People's Alliance was being well received, what happened next caught me by surprise. Right before my eyes, I saw a politician become a street evangelist. Can I give you a leaflet? It's Christian People's Alliance. We're standing, we're standing in the general election. Believe Christians need a voice. Is that religion? Well, it's not religion, no, we're Christians. Christians believe in relationship, not religion. Religion is doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, but them Christians have got all the Bible wrong, haven't they? No. God and I are good friends. Yeah, I know. I've, I've got a degree in biblical studies. Yeah. Let me ask you, do you read that Bible literally? You have to understand the Bible. To, we're supposed to read it allegorically. They're all parables, aren't they? The Bible is an accurate history book. We do a, we do a tour of the British Museum where we show... See, I disagree with that. It's not a well, history book. It's well, a I'm going to tell you. He started talking to me about the Bible being allegorical and I said to him, no, it's, a, it's an accurate history book. And we can prove it's an accurate history book from the British Museum. I said, and, and all the documents we've got of eyewitnesses who were with Jesus. And in the end, he gave up on that. What I've got a problem is with the religion side of things is that the, the masses go to church and they listen to the, the vicars, the priests, the pastors, but they're not really, for me, teaching what Jesus taught. They're not teaching them that Jesus' message. We do. We teach well, Jesus' message all the time. Jesus' message is they lay their hands on the sick and they recover. That's what we go for, the power. When we're in the streets, we talk about anything. I mean, Theresa May will discuss Conservative Party policies. That's what she stands for, Conservative Party policies. We, we, we're Christians. So we're, we're unashamedly Christian. We're 100% Christian. We're not, we're not Christian by name, but we don't, you know, that's just the name. It's just a name in the party, you know. It's, no, no, we, I'm going to give you a leaflet. We're 100% we're Christian and we speak the truth. To us, it's all about the truth. You won't find in the Christian People's Alliance any political correctness. We're not following an agenda. We're following the truth. Hearing Sid speak so openly about his faith, I could not help but wonder how one can have such strong views and succeed in this era of political correctness. As a Christian, I could never press a nuclear button, but we've got to have some sort of defence in place, which is why our policy is to have a missile shield. The Labour Party will throw the NHS into total chaos if they're elected. You tell me, in the morning, are the roads clogged up coming into Hitchin? I mean, well, you tell me, OK, build a whole load more houses on the edge of Hitchin, and what's going to happen? I mean, is it going to... We have, we've got to have the infrastructure. It's as simple as that. As I watched Sid talk at one of the panel discussions leading up to the elections, it became very clear that even in settings where events of political or social interest should be discussed openly, Sid is met with an unwarranted amount of hostility. There is a move internationally to use this issue of climate change to create a one world government. 
And well, you can laugh at it if you like, but it's reality. I don't think we're creating a one world government, just please rest assured. I, I don't think that. Whilst there were many issues discussed on the day, in the end, it was very obvious that SID had become very frustrated. Only one of the policies which we're standing on has been discussed tonight, and that is caring for the poor and looking at food banks. The other policies haven't been discussed, that is the importance of marriage, reducing the number of abortions. We've got detailed policies to see them reduced. Sid, that's, so these, that's are, not... these are policies that haven't Sid. been discussed, but I need to tell you why we're standing, no. and these policies are important. Sid, you have had your one sentence. Sorry, we asked one sentence. Thank you. You see, this is it, you. isn't it? You see, the you. issues that are important no, Sid, to Christians. Can you put the microphone down, please? We don't want to talk about those can policies. Can we turn the microphone off, please? Thank you. It's obvious that Sid is unapologetic about his views and what his party stands for. And as I got to know him better, I could not help but admire his convictions. The truth is, whether you agree with him or not, it's without question that we've said what you see is what you get. Hallelujah. And what's your view about politics and religion don't mix? Nonsense. You see, I believe God is interested in every aspect of society. Do you think, do you think when they pass a law changing, redefining marriage and say marriage is no longer just between a man and a woman, marriage can now be between a man and a man and a woman and a woman, do you think God's not interested? You think when there's a Christian guest house owner says, I'm sorry, I'm not allowing two men to share a double bed in my guest house, and they close down the guest house, do you think God's not interested? Of course God's interested in politics. God's interested in every aspect of society. God calls his people to unity. I mean, the sad fact of our nation is that it's much easier to get Muslims to all support a Muslim candidate or all support one candidate than it is to get Christians to all support one candidate. When we come together, humbly seeking God's will, and we become united, then we'll become a powerful force that will change this nation and nothing will be able to stop us. That's the aim.